The main service provider is Algerie Telecom. Topic: <laughs> Internet penetration and ISPs. Over the past decade, the number of Internet users in Algeria has greatly increased, from 150,000 users in 2006 to approximately 18,583,000 in 2015, with a penetration rate of 46% of the population. Due to the increase of Internet speeds and lowering of tariffs, as well as the introduction of new telecommunication technologies such as 3G and 4G LTE, to improve the information and communications technology penetration rate, the government has started a number of initiatives, including its approval in January 2008 of a €100 million Euros plan to implement Internet networks in every high school in the country. The country is also modernizing its Internet network by installing optical fiber cables, and multi-service access nodes MSANs all across the country. Algeria's main operator of Internet services and fixed and mobile telephone services is Algerie Telecom. The company has been slated for privatization, but the process has been repeatedly delayed. The firm's chief executive said in 2008 that the company will be ready for privatization by 2011. Algerie Telecom launched an LTE network in 2014, making Algeria the first country in North Africa to have such a network. In 2015, Algerie Telecom launched the WICI service in multiple Algerian cities, which grants the public access to outdoor Wi Fi. Legal and regulatory frameworks Government regulations permit controls on Internet access and monitoring of content. In July 2006, Algerian President Abdelaziz Bouteflika pardoned all journalists convicted of defamation offences, a move welcomed by local journalists, the International Federation of Journalists and Reporters Without Borders However, both the IFJ and RSF demanded long-term reforms to protect press freedom, including abolishing the country's defamation laws which, in addition to government dominance over broadcasting, economic constraints, and journalists' lack of access to official information, restrict freedom of expression in Algeria. In addition, in January 2008 the government reinforced its surveillance of the press by placing state-owned printing companies, which print half of Algeria's privately owned newspapers, under direct government control. Algerian authorities continue to ignore journalists' repeated calls for revision of the press law to eliminate prison sentences for offences from the press. Blogger Abd El Salam Baroudi, administrator of the Bilad Telmsen blog, was charged with criminal defamation for criticizing a government official on his blog in June 2007. In May 2008 the government introduced a new cybercrime bill amid reports that government websites receive about 4,000 hacking attempts per month and that websites of financial institutions are also targeted by hackers. The bill criminalized online activities such as hacking, stealing of personal data, promoting terrorism and crimes online, blackmailing, and copyright infringement. The bill was followed in May 2009 by the creation of a new national security service focused on cybercrime. Police officers were also given explicit permission to break into, inspect and control internet cafes in the interest of preventing terrorist activities. In 2005, the Algerian government began allowing ISPs to use voiceover internet protocol for international calls. State-owned telecoms company Algeria Telecom Satellite ATS launched VoIP and GPS in September 2008. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Surveillance and filtering. Article 14 of Ministerial Decree No 98 to 257 of August 25, 199,824 makes ISPs responsible for the sites they host and requires them to take all necessary steps to ensure constant surveillance of content to prevent access to material contrary to public order and morality. In 2004, journalists reported that it could take up to 2 days to receive their emails. They believed the government is spying on them. Algerian security forces started raiding Internet cafes and checking the browsing history of Internet users after terrorist attacks hit the country in April 2007. In April 2008, the security forces increased their monitoring and surveillance efforts in these cafes to stop their use for terrorist activities. In addition, Internet cafes are now required to collect names and ID numbers of their customers and report this information together with any suspicious activities to the police. 
In March 2008, the Algerian government ordered domestic mobile phone companies to stop selling anonymous mobile phones and SIM cards. This call was prompted by concerns that mobile phones were used in terrorist attacks in the country. Openit initiative testing found no evidence that the government filters Internet sites. However, the Algerian security forces blocked access to the website of Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb in October 2007 after there were reports that the organization used the website to recruit minors and teenagers and to publish its press releases and videos related to terror attacks in Algeria. The government's primary forms of control appear to be the access controls and content monitoring regulations already noted. See also Terrestrial fiber optic cable projects in Algeria Media of Algeria